Hello, everyone, and welcome to BFM3130. Uh, I'm my continuation and uh, the recording for this week, which is the identification uh, of business opportunities and FinTech. Now, uh, in part one, I went through the process, which is actually, I went through this. Uh, uh, this chart and now this chart is explaining the whole process uh, from step one to step five till we reduce what we call uh, the uh, business uh, proposition or the value proposition. We stop in value six and in step six because we will do it later on. Now I have explained all of this just to remind you. Uh, I have explained this in part one. And in part two, three, four, and five, I have four parts left. I am going to go through those uh, steps in details. So I will talk about the primary research, the market research for the primary research and the secondary research. I will talk also uh, about the analysis of customer feedback. Um, I will talk about the SWAT. Uh, so all of it, actually is related to the uh, market research. And it's good that I am recording part two, three, four, and five after I release the, uh, the assignment and because you can connect. So I'm going to go through HP so I, and explain it. And when you design your market research, based on theme number one on the uh, assignment, then you have to go through this process besides your other research. But this is the basic thing which we do it. Now, let me go to the, uh, this is part two, and I'm talking about market research. I'm going to talk now about the competitor analysis, which is past part of the uh, secondary research uh, data that we collect. Now to do that, we want to understand uh, competitor strategies, strength and weaknesses to identify opportunities uh, for differentiation. And the best way to do that is to do what we call strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats analysis, or what we call it SWOT. And this part, I tried to take a bank, which is a digital bank, just licensed in 2003, which we call uh, Axita, and um, vers versus my bank, which is a traditional bank. Now, those are really competitors, and we want to see when we analyze, then in this case, we can come to a conclusion. To read more about those SWOT analysis, you can read about Porter MA 2008, which is under what you call competitive advantage, creating and sustaining superior performance. Now, this is an example which I did it from uh, for Maybank and uh, for this new digital bank which has been licensed within the five banks in Malaysia. So this this process, I I I, I uh, you can do it for Maybank, which is well known, and uh, do it for. Uh, um, AXTA, and then uh, compare among them later on. And this analysis, I just take AXTA bank and try to analyze it, and then I take the information and I make a summary about the two banks and show the uh, what, what that SWOT analysis reflects. So if you look at the strength of uh, uh, this new digital bank, AXTA, AXTA so it's a digital fast approach. We know it. Um, there is no uh, outlets. There is no people to deal with. Everything is uh, online. Uh, so you are leveraging actually in technologies to offer steam, uh, uh, seamless banking experience, which is very, should be very comfortable. Um, provide, you can provide innovative services, ability to rapidly introduce new financial products and services, and actually the cost of the fees that commercial banks um, 
take uh, those banks are actually cheaper because their cost is uh, is actually less. Now they have weaknesses. Nobody knows them. This is one of the biggest problems. And in banking, we are operating under what we call a trust economy. So when we talk about trust economy, uh, you, people have to trust you. But if you are something on the internet, you don't exist. There is no physical uh, existence for you, and you won't be to put my money in your bank. And there is also you put it in my bank. My bank uh, uh, collapse or go bankrupt. You will not see that thing. Same thing would happen to Axia. But uh, uh, the difference is it's just this, what you call sentiment of the customers, which they feel that uh, as a new experience uh, to do with uh, also the bank is licensed by Bank Nigara. Um, it's, it's actually, uh, uh, it's, it's a problem, uh, which is the customer trust. The other thing is the other weaknesses, which is not actually exist with, uh, it exists for both of them. Um, the regulatory hurdles, but specifically for those new digital banks, the regulation just started, they can, uh, 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 regulation keep updating, and then to navigate, uh, you know, through this complex banking regulation actually can be challenging, especially for a new bank that has not, you know, experienced like those well-established banks like Public Bank and May Bank and other banks, they have very high expertise. They have legal department. They have people who are very expert in regulations and who can comply very fast. But if you look at it also, the the uh, AXTA has has opportunities. And when we talk about opportunities, actually, uh, so many of them. So. Um, they, the, within this rising fintech adoption, there is an increasing acceptance of digital banking services. Uh, people are already accepting, you know, the wallets, um, B2B, book, blockchain, uh, you know, Bitcoin, all of this is actually digits. So uh, therefore they can actually penetrate the market. They have a huge potential to penetrate the market. Uh, especially with this generation, your generation, the Gen Z, the tech savvy customers who are very, very well fed, well, well, you know, occupied and comfortable with technologies. And they can do huge partnerships with uh, um, technology providers and tech, tech companies uh, to enhance their service offerings and keep updating it. They still have threats, which actually, uh, you know, Can affect their future and outlook. Um, they have intense competition competing with established banks like my bank or public banks. We have around 27 banks, all of them are physical. It's a big deal. Um, all of those, they are very, very uh, digital, and then the cybersecurity exists because they highly depend on technology. And as I told you, the uh, any regulatory changes of the licensing. And summary. Uh, May Bank leverage and established presence. This bank has been for 50 years now. Um, they have huge customer base, strong financial performance, uh, but faces challenges in global diversification and revenue concentration. This is one of the biggest pro problems with the with the established banks. And other and uh, on the other side, uh, uh, this digital bank. Etc. is a new bank, uh, benefits from digital first approach and lower cost, but must build trust and navigate regulatory landscapes. It has opportunities in fintech adoption and partnerships, but faces threats from competition. This is just summary of this. Therefore, this analysis highlights the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and strength of, of those two banks. So when uh, these two banks in two industries, it's not one bank, it's actually two banks in different industries. So this industry and this industry, they are different. And I want you, when you do the, for example, if you're doing the payments, then um, you are talking about 
this is physical, but you are going to do a payment and you will compete with some other industry or some other companies who are established and you will say what is their weaknesses, what is their SWAT and what is your SWAT. This is when you do the analysis. The other thing is the customer survey, which is actually coming through the primary research. The first one, which is this one, which I told you. Now, uh, this one, which is this one, the primary research, which is the customer uh, actually uh, uh, feedback. Now, um, as I mentioned in the, uh, as I mentioned in the assignment, I don't think you can do it. I don't think you can do it. Why? Because to develop the instrument, which is, which we call it the survey, and to find at least 30 people, sometimes we take 300, 400. You are, this is just assignment. You cannot do it. You can do part of it if it is interviewed because there are so many parts. Part of it is a survey, which is questionnaire, like what I will explain to you. The other thing is interview. We interview, you prepare questions carefully. Those questions have to be validated, uh, well organized based on the themes that you want to discuss. And you go to the customer and you run an open conversation, which we call it open ended uh, interview. So you let them talk, maybe you interrupt them while they are talking to let them to the point. And then after that, you do an inscription, which means you analyze what they say, and there are programs to do that. And then you uh, take their ideas and notes. For example, if you're talking about security, or you are talking about using your uh, uh, code money, uh, then in this case, you will take those notes and it will be your studies. And when you argue about that, you will say what is the weakness, what, 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 what the customer pains, gains, and all these things. So actually the customer thinks is to get the, uh, uh, to get this feedback of the gain, pains, and wants of the customer where you can find an edge and we can, you know, where you can penetrate. Now, let me explain this uh, for you. So look, uh, Usually, those surveys, which we call it an instrument, and they will explain it one by one, and they will explain it also to the groups when we meet you. It's actually, it takes many sections. The first section, which is this one, we call it demographics. For example, you take that just the age and the gender. And sometimes you take more than that. We take the income, we take the uh, nationality, we take the, you know, uh, uh, some other uh, uh, demographics. So here we just take the, 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 the gender, gender and we take the age. So when we analyze, we will see, we can actually, when we analyze this data, and we analyze it statistically, we can analyze people who are, for example, between 18 and 24. What do they think comparing to boy, 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 to 25, for example, I can compare between this and this. And in this case, I can get my segment. If these people are not very happy with what we are trying to, study, to, to uh, as I will show you now, uh, and then this is will be my segment. And then um, as you, more you go in the age, I tell you they are less, they are more traditional and less uh, uh, less technology oriented. So you can take all those uh, uh, people, and of course, when you run, when you distribute your uh, survey, you distribute it. You didn't select one category; you select all the categories randomly, and then you started to do that. Of course, you can uh, then compare between the gender, male, female, against the others. Um, you take the female alone against others, male against others, and all of those. And now, this, this demographic, which we call it demographic, is actually help for you, uh, helping, because you can, you can identify where is your segment, as I told you. And then you start with the real question. So the real question, as you can see here, as you can see here, 
for example, here, um, this is just the experience, which would give you something. But uh, the user experience is the most important thing. What do they think? Which mobile, they, they, which mobile banking they are using? And then the frequent views that you need also, because that will reflect also on your system. Um, and the most important thing also, the satisfaction. How satisfied you are. So one is the least, five is the best. And then you, you talk about the features, with how happy they are about the features, because you want to develop different features. You know that the features, they are there. This is actually, I do it for uh, this survey for MAE. This is a, uh, what you call it, uh, a digital wallet uh, belongs to Maybank. And it's very active. It's one of the big competitors of, uh, of, uh, of Touch and Go. Uh, now, uh, the, 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 why people are taking actually the, uh, the uh, uh, Touch and Go wallet? Because, because if you don't have account number, but if you have account number and you are actually a Maybank customer, uh, MAE is more, more convenient for you. Anyways, uh, let me talk about this. Uh, uh, this is the, the satisfaction of the feature. Uh, this is if the, there are features that you, you want them to have, maybe you will have it in your system. Uh, how they like the app. Um, how reliable is the lab? Uh, the, the 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 app which is the MEE in this case, uh, do they have have experience of any you know uh, failure with it? And this is where you are trying to get the pains and the gains. And uh, how satisfied are you with the app trans transaction speed? And then uh, this all, and then you will go to the uh, have you ever contacted customer support? This is for the support. And then, um, in general, how do you, you know, arrange this experience? And then, uh, finally, you will get the final uh, uh, satisfaction and feedback. And they can tell you open-ended. Now, they will start talk here. Now, when they start to talk here or write, you can take also this and analyze it in a different way and uh, change it to numbers or uh, you know, back up your uh, uh, findings through this survey, which is the Cisco findings. Uh, what do you dislike? This also you can uh, analyze it qualitatively because we have qualitative and quantitative. When it is numbers, we call it quant or quantitative. When it is talking like interviews of open-ended uh, comments like this, we call it qualitative and we analyze it and we put it in notes and to back our conclusions. And then um, this is also related to the satisfaction, which is this one, which is uh, number 18. And then if they have any other open-ended questions. Now, this is a perfect customer survey. Can you do your customer survey and you update it by yourself? You just take the instruments, you just write the questions and go. The answer is no. So what is my recommendation? My recommendation is you take something already valid, already used, and you can find that and you just adopt it because that has been tested for validity, for reliability, for so many things. We call it the instruments. And in the future, you are not going to do this in the class, but in the future, when you go and do for a company or for your startup, whatever, usually you will find validated uh, so many uh, of those validated and used and published. You just take one of them and apply it. Maybe you change some of the questions. So this is how the survey work when we talk about market research. And this is primary research, primary research, which is step number one in our map. Okay. Now let me go, uh, this is actually the end of, uh, part two.
Let me go now to uh, part three. And I think I will, I will, I will, I will stop here and then uh, record the new one.